to my channel my name is Chidi Janaka and today I filmed a video um, that I would like to call the Nigerian girl tack these questions were made up by my Nigerian sisterhood made up of Stefano Ume and Amarachi their YouTubes will be linked up there and down below so make sure that you check them out check out their Nigerian girl tags check out their channels um, if you guys are unfamiliar with them we had all done chit chat get ready with me's a while ago and we that was kind of like our first video as the nigerian sisterhood this sisterhood started back in 2016 and i was asked to join on earlier this year so um i'm really thankful to those girls for bringing me into something like this that is such a positive thing um obviously us all being nigerian girls from different parts of the world I think it's really great that we were able to come together and we of course want to include more and more people as we go but this is just the beginning so make sure you check their channels out and let's get into this tag thumbs up the video by the way but let's get into these questions we have a great set of questions here so where are you from in Nigeria rep your set I am personally from okay let's let's give y'all the rundown I am from Nigeria, so I'm a Nigerian, but um, my family comes from Emo State. I am I belong to the Igbo tribe, and my village is called Nkwere. So, what is your Nigerian name? I actually happen to go by my name, which is Chidi. Um, Chidi is just short for Chidima. The name Chidi is a unisex name, um, so a lot of people that are like, oh my gosh, I know someone named Chidi, it's always like some guy or like their uncle or something like that so but my full name is Chidima which means God is good yes he is one thing you love about being a Nigerian woman I literally love everything about being a Nigerian woman a lot of my characteristics come from the Nigerian women who have influenced my life Nigerian women are resilient Nigerian women are hard workers um, Nigerian women are persistent Nigerian women take care of their household Nigerian women get the job done like I just Nigerian women just are amazing and Nigerian women cook amazingly Nigerian women have great bone structures I just think these are all things about being in, like there's nothing that I can really pinpoint that I would be like oh I don't like this about being Nigerian woman I love everything about being a Nigerian woman okay one oh I just said that Oh, I skipped one. How has being a Nigerian woman influenced your outlook on men and relationships? I just think that it's taught me that relationships aren't just meant to be a joke. Like, I won't get into a relationship if I don't see that person as being husband material. And I also am definitely not going to bring anyone home if I don't see them being husband material. If I don't see it going anywhere, I'm not even going to waste my time. That has influenced my outlook on men and relationships just because if I don't see you as husband material, I mean, I may entertain you, but if you're not that one, then we're not going to take it any further than this. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay. What Nigerian beauty hacks do you currently follow? Nigerian beauty hacks. I don't know any Nigerian beauty hacks. And if any of you guys know of any Nigerian beauty hacks, can y'all comment those down below? Because I really can't think of any right now. Okay, I'll say confidence. I would say that like a lot of Nigerian women just exude confidence in everything they do, everywhere they everywhere they go, every person they meet. It's just like confidence is radiating out of them. No matter no matter if I feel like I look busted or if I feel like I've gained a little bit of weight this time around or whatever, I still have that confidence to me. I know that that's something that no one can take away from me. So my outer beauty or my inner beauty trumps my outer beauty and that is what gives me the confidence that I have and that I feel like a lot of Nigerian women have. I think it's very uncommon to meet a woman that a Nigerian woman that isn't 
like super confident and honestly I mean I won't say that I have my few days where I'm like oh my gosh like I don't like the way I feel I don't like the way I look but it doesn't like stop me it doesn't stop me actually this summer I my face broke out like ridiculously like it was actually scary and I'll actually insert like a one second clip right here my face broke out like crazy but I still had to go through my everyday life like it couldn't stop like I couldn't stop I just had to keep moving through life and by God's grace it cleared up a little bit and I'm still working on getting it cleared more and more and more but I still I still never lost the confidence in myself and that's a Nigerian beauty hack in itself favorite Nigerian TV shows and web series I honestly don't watch any Nigerian TV shows or web series and if y'all if but if y'all know of any comment those down below please because I'm actually looking for new TV shows to watch anyways who's your Nigerian celebrity crush I don't have one guys I'm so sorry I don't pay enough attention. see this this tag is making me realize that I don't pay enough attention let me look up Nigerian celebrities is Malik Berry Nigerian because he's cute Okay, Malik Berry. I think he's really cute. Um, he's not really my crush. Like, I never really thought about it. But I mean, I guess when I see him, I'm like, oh, like he's good looking. My favorite, my um favorite, my African celebrity crush, just African in general, would be Idris Elba. All day, every day. All day, every day. All day, every day. All day, every day. AJ ain't nothing but a number. Eat yourself, but no, I'm joking. Okay, can you cook? Of course I can cook. Were you pressured to learn how to cook at a young age? Yes, and I think most Nigerian women were pressured to learn how to cook at a young age because our moms want us to be able to one day be able to cook for our households, like cook for our husbands and our children. So at the time, it was like really annoying because every time they would cook, they would call you to the kitchen. And But now that I'm older and I actually am like on my own in college and stuff like that, I'm really grateful that I know how to cook. Cause, so I'm thankful that I was pressured to learn how to cook, although it was not fun in the at the time. Do you see yourself marrying a Nigerian man? And do you have a tribe preference? Yes, I see myself marrying a Nigerian man. I do. That would be unrealistic for me to say I don't because I'm a Nigerian woman and I would love to marry a Nigerian man. And obviously, if we're speaking of tribes, I would love to marry an Igbo man. But I refuse to limit myself to just Nigerian men. If someone comes along and they love me and they care about me and they want to carry me off into the sunset and I love them back I'm gonna marry them no matter what their um no matter what country they're from and no matter what tribe they belong to so I'm open to whatever but I definitely do see myself marrying a Nigerian like if it came down to it okay this or that Davida or Wizkid I'm gonna answer this question for y'all right now if I tell you If by Day Vito. Yeah, definitely Day Vito. But if you would have asked me a year ago, I probably would have said Whiskit. Whiskit is just a little bit too mainstream for me these days, but I still love Whiskit. But if I had to choose, obviously Day Vito. Jolla Rice or Rice and Stew? Rice and Stew all day. Comment down below if you love Rice and Stew as much as me. Jolla is okay. Um, and since this is a Nigerian girl tag, no offense to my Eva people in our jollof rice, but I really prefer your jollof rice. Puff Puff or Akara? Um, neither. I'm so sorry. I don't like any of that stuff. My mom definitely still makes me cook it, but I personally don't care for it either. Um, city or village? Okay. 
I love the city, okay? I love being in like Legos, being in the city, okay? But from like Christmas Eve to like the day after New Year's, the village is lit. Your whole family's out there. All the other families in the village are out there. It's just lit parties and or, or celebrations and cooking and laughter and just I just love it like there's no TVs there's nothing it's just like you're just enjoying each other's energies it's a lot of prayer it's a lot of being grateful because the Lord has brought us to the end of the year and the beginning of a new year I just think it's so lit in the village during that time I wouldn't want to be anywhere other than the village if I was going to be in Nigeria during holiday season. But definitely on a regular day, like if I had to go to Nigeria today, drop me off in Lagos, please. Um, at my wedding, would I like lace or Ankara? I wanna say lace because that just makes a little bit more sense. In my opinion, I, I well, I'm, these days people really be making their Ankara like look one type of way. Maybe Ankara, hmm. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Can I find a man first? And then we, we'll talk about this again. We'll talk about that later, okay. Now, big or small? Okay. I've always said that I want a pretty small wedding, just myself and like 100 of my closest friends. <laughs> okay, so just like a pretty small wedding. But I know that that's unrealistic because if you're Nigerian, you know your parents have friends and family friends and co-workers and whatever distant cousins and all these people that you may have never even met in your entire life that are going to want to come to your wedding and honestly who am i to turn down that bag okay if you're watching this and you're not nigerian i don't know if you know this but nigerian what let it be anybody's graduation birthday anniversary wedding way keeping even like they're spraying money and you're getting you're, you're getting paid like you're getting paid so um I'm definitely looking forward to my graduation party and my wedding okay so this is what I came up with I'm gonna have a small ceremony with just like myself and like close friends and family and then afterwards like in the nighttime we'll have the big reception where where everyone can come like it'll that'll be the big part but honestly the wedding needs to be small just in my opinion um okay would i like the mc to be chief ob or afrikan eight afrika i'm just i think i'm pronouncing that correctly afrikan eight i've never heard of afrikan eight so i'm gonna just go with chief ob and honestly chief ob's been doing big things i've been watching him like for like three or four years now and so if i got chief ob at my wedding like what do you mean like so that answers that Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it and that you learned a little bit more about me, your Nigerian. I would say queen, I'm sorry. I'm I'm a queen, but I don't say I'm necessarily your own queen, but I hope you got to learn a little bit more about me. And like I said, all Nigerian girls are tagged. I want to see all of your Nigerian girl tag videos and make sure that you comment down below if you decide to film that video because I want to see it. So, Also make sure that you follow my girls Stefano, Amarachi, and Ume. Please make sure you check out their channels. Uh, we would really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.